Are you bareheaded? <laughs> or no? Okay. Are you bald headed? <laughs> Well, maybe you're not bareheaded or bald headed. Maybe you are bull headed. I got my moose, my bull moose hat on here. Maybe you are bull headed. Uh, did anyone ever tell you that you were bull headed? <laughs> well, what does it mean when someone says, You are the most bull headed person I've ever known? Well, a bull headed person is a person who is very stubborn. Some people would use words like inflexible overly willful or obstinate, a person who is headstrong to the point where they are foolishly or irrationally stubborn, obstinately opinionated, especially in refusing to consider alternative ways of doing things. Like the mom could say, you know what, my son is so bullheaded, once he makes up his mind about doing something, there's no way anyone can change it. People who are bullheaded or really, really, really stubborn are often hard to work with because they may believe that they have all the answers, regardless of the facts. Like we could say this about Will. That Will, he's very bullheaded. He literally shuns my ideas because he thinks he has all the answers. Do you know someone who is bullheaded like that? Yeah. Most likely, we probably could think of somebody. And maybe we are bullheaded or stubborn. Are you? What do you think? Well, the Bible is filled with stories of people who were stubborn and bullheaded. The Old Testament includes stories of the Israelites who often ignored and disobeyed God because they were stubborn and did what they wanted to do. And they didn't want to follow God and his directions, and so they did their own thing. Psalm 78 verse 8 says this about them. They were these ancestors of ours. They were a stubborn and rebellious generation whose hearts were not loyal to God, whose spirits were not faithful to him. Zechariah is an Old Testament prophet. And in Zechariah chapter 7 verse 11 and 12, we read this. But these people refused to pay attention. Stubbornly, they turned their backs and covered their ears. They made their hearts as hard as flint, and they would not listen to the law or to the words that the Lord Almighty had sent by his spirit through the earlier prophets. So the Lord Almighty was very angry. You know, the Old Testament prophets spent a lot of time trying to get these stubborn people to listen to what God had to say. In Isaiah 46, 12, this is what God said. Listen to me, you stubborn-hearted people, you who are now far from my righteousness. It's not a good place to be far from God's righteousness, is it? Well, stubborn people can find it very, very difficult to change their ways. Proverbs 12, 1 says, Whoever loves discipline loves knowledge, but whoever hates correction is stupid. That's pretty strong language, isn't it? Well, it is, but it's very important to not get stuck in our ways and not be willing to look at maybe some things we can change in our lives. So, if we ever find ourselves getting a bit stubborn or a bit bullheaded, perhaps we need to take some time to step back, to think about what or who is really important in life. You know that Jesus model to us ways to think of others, to not always think of ourselves. Philippians chapter 2 verse 3 says, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourself. You know, when we value others, we often or we may become less stubborn about the things we want because we're thinking about other people. So, can we work at being less bullheaded, less stubborn, and can we consider other people? Oh, I think we can. I know that I need to do that sometime, and I bet sometimes there are days where you go, wow, I wish I wasn't really that stubborn. I surely don't want to become bullheaded. So, let's work at that. So, let's also have a great day today, a day that's filled with joy, and a day that's filled with peace.